Hey guys, Kwaku here from Gridit. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to find errors in your logos using Logo Grid Generator. So Logo Grid Generator has four features that are incredibly helpful. We have anchors, handles, outlines, and grid lines. But a few of them I actually use to find errors in my logos. So here we have Atkins Building Co, which was a logo I'd done a while back, like two, two years ago. Um, thankfully, it was a concept project as well, so it wasn't for a real client. So recently when I was just exploring using Logo Grid Generator, um, especially on my old logos, there was a few things that I found. So let's just duplicate this logo and let's get rid of that. So now we have the logo here. So let's make sure it's united. So when I saw this logo at first glance, it actually looks fairly accurate. However, when I use grid lines, so grid lines is again, my personal favorite feature because it can really just instantly show um, a particular type of inconsistency within a logo. So if we select grid lines and we do generate, you can see the bottom seems perfect. Um, consistency here, diagonal lines is perfect. But then when you come up top, you start to see some weird stuff happen. So, I realized that this line here was actually inaccurate and it wasn't, it, it didn't have the same angles as the others. And then also you can see this one here. So the grid lines feature helped me realize that. And what you can just simply do is again, just adjust the logo. So you can just do something like this. This is a very like rough way to do it. Um, ideally you'd want to probably start again um, if needed. So now when you just make sure it's united, use a grid lines feature and even let's do outlines and grid lines to see it. So now it's simple, but you can see it. Um, no double um, awkward line, just one single grid line. And yeah, so that's how I found errors using the grid lines feature and logo grid generator. So another example here is, I actually made a reel about this. This was another old logo. This was actually another version of one of the logos. So again, this was a concept. And again, I use the grid lines feature for this. So let's, let's, I don't think we'll need outlines for this. So if we do grid lines and we do generate, you can see everything's perfect. Very um, aesthetically pleasing grid as well. Consistency. But then you have this space here. So you can see this can actually happen with many of the logos. And these are just annoying things that you could slightly miss over. And I actually found this and just simply fixed this by just putting it, putting that anchor point at that intersect there. And then if you hide the grid lines, then the logo is fixed, simple. So that's how you can use grid lines again to correct and find errors in your logo. And lastly, another example that's not so drastic as others, but this logo is a logo that one of my favorite logos that I've made and I tend to find this error that I'm about to show you happens when you use particular grids like, like this one. So when you use 2D grids like this and when you're like co connecting points and stuff, if you was to merge, you will have like an extra anchor point there. If you was to merge these two shapes. So if I was to do outlines and anchors and generate. Everything looks perfect. There's no issues whatsoever, but there's only one thing that you'll notice and it's just extra anchor points. This isn't obviously such a drastic issue at all. Um, it doesn't really do much to the logo, but I tend to, I don't like having extra anchor points because I just feel like the logos should be as simplified as much as possible. So I will just use this tool here, it is called, I don't even know what it's called, delete anchor point tool. And then you can just find anchor points and just simply delete them. And yeah, you can just do the rest. So again, this wasn't such a drastic um, error and it doesn't really have any visual impact to the logo. However, when you're creating logos that are a bit more um, 
have a bit more detail and let's say if this anchor point instead wasn't straight but had a just had an extra dent to it obviously you could probably see it but some people could just could just slightly miss it even if it was like the slightest the slightest thing you wouldn't be able to, to notice it so that's how the anchors features can help you find errors in your logo so again my personal feature is the grid lines to actually find errors um, and you can also do this with anchor points so that's just a quick tutorial on how to find errors in your logos using logo grid generator